Hello world, and welcome back to my channel where we live and breathe art. So if that tickles your pickle, make sure you are subscribed. Also, if you're not already following me on Instagram, make sure you come and follow me there so you can stay updated with my latest art and my coolest creations. As you probably already read from the title of this video, I did art for Justin Bieber. What? Yeah, I'm still trying to talk myself into it. This was a few months ago. Wow. 13 year old me would have been so proud of me, genuinely, genuinely would have been so proud of me. And I am really proud of myself now, to be very honest. Here's how it happened. I received a message from my website. I have a contact form on my website and it was from someone who worked at an events company that was gonna host Justin Bieber while he performed at the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. When I first saw this message, I couldn't believe it. I, I genuinely, I was like, okay, what are, the, what are the ways that I could prove that this is fake? Like, there's no way. But I did some research, I looked at the email address and I was like, wait, hold up, this is legit. So the client, I'm not gonna name them, but the client reached out and they actually saw my previous Tim Bits pop art portrait that I did. And I walked around Young and Dundas Square with it and that took off a little bit on social media, which I really liked. They had seen an article about me and about that and they were really impressed and Justin Bieber loves his Tim Bits. So they commissioned me to create this huge portrait of Timbits. I used 300 Timbits. That is six boxes, the like mega big box, the largest size that you can get here in Canada. Six of those to get these Timbits. And I had such an amazing experience. The entire process, it was a really big project for me. This piece was then gifted to Justin Bieber at the concert, which I think that Justin Bieber had my art now. I don't know. I don't, I just, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This is, I've worked so hard and I, yeah, just, I'm just, I'm gonna take a moment, you know? Yeah. So, in this video, I walk you through the entire process from when I first got the order. I remember I like scheduled myself for a week, but in the same week that I was scheduled for this project, I was also starting a new job and I was moving houses. So my life has changed so much in the last six months and I cannot wait to tell you all about it. But this is old footage. I've been sitting on this footage for a while. I'm very excited. I just, I've never done anything like this. It was also my first time working with resin, which I thought was really cool. I really hope you enjoy this video. This was so difficult to film because also it was a one man show. I was not just moving houses, packing boxes, switching jobs, doing all the legal paperwork, but film, doing this Justin Bieber piece and then filming the content for multiple different social media channels all by myself while my roommates were also moving. It was chaos. So it's here, it's ready. I cannot wait for you to see the entire process of what I went through to get this project done. I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so I'm literally designing it right now. I like to go into these things with some sort of visual plan so I know exactly what I'm doing when I'm placing the Timbits. So yeah, this is what I have so far. Uh, yeah, these are like the colors that I want to work with. I just really like making some sort of digital mock-up and I'm just going to add text in some areas as well. Bam! That's what I mean. I kind of wanted this kind of text. I'm still working on getting the perfect balance, but this is what I have so far. So the day has finally come. I am going to pick up. This is my calendar. It's a very busy month. I'm moving houses. I am doing this piece. It's huge. I finally picked up the canvas yesterday. This is what it looks like. It's humongous. This canvas is literally four by five feet long. So that is 48 inches by 60 inches. So yeah, I'm just gonna figure it out, I guess. I'm really winging this project, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying the process. I went to Tim Hortons the other day and I placed an order in for 300 Timbits. I spent quite a bit on my 300 Timbits, but I'm gonna go pick it up. So let's see how it goes. Three hundred ten minutes. You're ready to go. What is my life? I don't even know. But I'm I'm, I'm excited to get started. This is so weird. Um, each box has fifty of these babies in them, and I'm using six boxes. So yeah, let's uh, wish me luck. To be honest, and I obviously had to get myself a drink because how am I supposed to make it through this very stressful experience? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> So step one in my process is to create a color for the base layer because I'm going to want just a nice little wash of like a cream, 
So I'm gonna go in and create that. I like to have my colors set in a jar. I really like to just mix my paint, especially when I'm working on big canvases and working with acrylic specifically, I like to have it in a jar. Mm, so let me see what colors I can use to make this and what colors I think would suit the look that I'm going for. Yeah. So I just pulled out some of the jars that I already have and these are the colors that I have. I like to, when I mix the colors in a jar, I like to put a dot on the top because acrylic does dry differently. So this color, for example, even though it looks like bright, it dries a little darker. And then this, it looks, I mean, I don't know if you can even see it, but it does dry a little darker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of this into this and then add a lot of white. I have my white ready to go. I'm gonna mix this up. I really wanna have enough color so I'm not stressing. Um, and I just have enough to finish a full body of coat on the canvas at least twice. This is inevitable as an artist, I guess. This is literally my most, the most satisfying part of being an artist. I, look at this, it's so beautiful. I love working with paint. So I finished pre-mixing this color and the pre-mix color now, this is what it looked. Oh, it's so, you can still see some little bit of the gradient because it's not fully mixed through, but this is, you get an idea of what I was going for. It's very similar to the original look because I just added a darker shade of orange and added some white into it. But um, yeah, so I guess I got to keep shaking a lot more. Okay, so I have my sketch done. It's a very, very rough sketch, but it says Justice World Tour, Scotiabank Arena, and March 25th, 2022. It's, yeah, I'm gonna have to change a little bit, and there's these pencil marks that I have to take off. But yeah, those are my 10 bits. I'm excited to get started. Okay, so like Motino shade, I fully expect this to be less of a messy process than the last time, but it's not. This is frustrating me a little bit, but I am still loving how it's going. Okay, this is what I have so far. I just have his eyes left and there's some text at the bottom. So that's where I'm at right now. So this is the piece so far. I got tape on the sides over here just because I wanted to make sure when I resin the piece, um, when I resin the piece, the resin is dripping on the sides. I still wanted to keep the sides nice and clean. So my life is a mess right now. <laughs> I'm moving houses, so everything is an absolute mess. There's no art on my walls. It's very foreign to me, but I, have finished the piece. So that is the original Justin Bieber piece that I did. That is the new one. Um, and my house is so messy, but I also just got resin. I'm so excited. I got this from a company in Toronto. Uh, it was 24 hour delivery. It was great. Um, it's tabletop epoxy and art resin. And there's two bottles. So one is a hardener and one is the resin. I've never actually used resin before. So I don't know what to expect. I've asked a few of my artist friends for some advice. Um, I've watched so many YouTube videos. They always recommend doing a test piece before. So I have some test pieces in my basement. Let me go and show you. Also, literally, this is, this is, this is where we're at. And that's okay. It's okay. There's, it's just, you know. So this is my creepy haunted basement. But, um, I thought for a test piece, I would do two different types of test pieces. 
One was on my, an old portrait of mine. I varnished it before, I just wanted to see what resin would look like. Um, I don't know how, I'm glad I'm doing these test pieces because they're not really turning out the best. And then the second test piece that I wanted was one with Timbits on it. So let me show you what I have. This is, oh my god, it actually looks pretty decent, pretty all right. You can see the reflection. It's going to have a nice thick shine to it. This is the piece that I'm testing with the Timbits just to see how the resin sort of holds it and how it dries. Unfortunately, it does take 24 hours to dry and I'm very impatient. So I tried to like get most of the air bubbles out with a heat gun. It's not as even as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to set a lot better. I know my proportions were exactly one is to one. That's how resin is supposed to be. Like I can see little areas in this place over here. Honestly, if you guys have any suggestions for resin and you've used it before and you think I'm absolutely psychotic, let me know. Please let me know in the comments below. I actually do remember the last time that I did this piece and I just used varnish to coat it. What, hap what ended up happening to my benefit was the Timbits really absorbed a lot of the varnish. So it did harden and I'm noticing that the same thing, if not a similar thing, is happening with the Timbits here with the resin. It is absorbing the resin, which means that it is going to harden over time. It might take a little longer to cure than 24 hours, but that's fine. I, it's a very time sensitive project. I only have like three or four days left, so I really need to get it done. Like for example, when I first poured this on, it was like a thick layer, but as I can see now, the donut has really just absorbed a lot of it in. So it will harden in like the next 24 hours and it'll preserve it for much longer than something like varnish will or hopefully, I don't know, I guess we'll find out, but that's where I'm at. I'm just really, really excited to see how this piece comes out because I feel like this is a huge opportunity and so strange, but like for the last three or four days, I remember I, I've woken up and I'm like, okay, Keenan, let's go. Let's glue some donuts to a canvas. This is your life now. But I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'm I'm glad it's coming out well. Let's see how, let's see what the finished product looks like. I was so excited to use resin and my hand is hurting because of how much I have to mix because of how big the um, canvas sizes. And this looks really weird and gross. I love it. It smells nasty and also it's not good to inhale. So I've got my mask on. Ooh. It's literally like slime. I'm gonna use this so much. This is an, an uh, this is the start of an artist's unhealthy addiction to a new material. If you know what I mean. Other artists out there, you know exactly what I mean. You know? Ugh. So my timer's on. I've got literally like four more minutes of this. Round number two. Doing the same thing because I like I resined a little bit first, but I didn't have enough. And I'm like, I should have planned for this. Maybe I've used a bigger bucket, but that's where we're at. Oh my God, guys, I'm really going through it right now. Oh, this is what we have so far. I'm literally working on, and you can see the reflection. It's so cool. So this is actually my first time working with resin. And I think it did it. Oh my God, I just felt, almost fell there. I think I did an okay job. That's where we're at. This is in my basement and this is literally what where we're at. Like look at it, it's so shiny. I'm so excited. Uh... Apart from that, I also had these test pieces that I was doing and this is hardened. Like it's already, it's solid. Like even these, they're just hard. I'm so excited to see the finished product. <gasps> Looks so cool. on I want to say TikTok or YouTube or something but it was really cool because you just mix all the excess paint that you have left off from your projects and I just throw it into this jar and I mix it into this like weird gray black but it is the perfect tip to have enough paint for the sides of your canvas and your sides are always covered kind of like this all right so now that everything is resined and set I'm going to paint the sides with my jar paint which I showed you earlier hello Okay, so it's day three or four now, but I'm finally done. 
that is my piece. It's all finished, all resin. I don't know how it's staying up on the wall, but we're just gonna wish for the best. Yeah, this is it. Like, I think it's really, really cool. It's cured, so it's very, as you can see, it's reflective. It's not as flat as I would like it, but I think the next time I'm just gonna have to use more resin um, and do maybe multiple layers. I'm gonna do more research to see. If you guys have any tips about how to use resin, please leave them in the comments below. I cannot believe I'm finally finished. It took me three, four days, but here we have it. And this is going to Justin Bieber at the Scotiabank Arena on the 25th of March. I'm so excited. Oh my God. What's this? It's an art project. Okay, I like it, Picasso. That was the process. I hope you enjoyed watching that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear what you thought about this crazy project. I never thought that this I would get to do crazy creative projects like this and just be and do and get recognized. And I'm, I don't know, I'm just very content at this moment. Very, very, very content. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.